Hey, bonjour YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. I'm very happy that you stick around. For this week, I have a special video for you. This is a live recorded with my friend, Mary Feinbrand. And in this video, I'm talking about why you should consider tracking your time. I'm also talking about why it is important to start using data to help you better manage your time. We're talking about misconceptions about wasting time. That's an interesting one. But also, I demonstrate to you at the end of this video that one hour doesn't equal one hour. So you definitely need to stick around until the end. I'm apologizing in advance for the quality of the video, but I had to share this video with you. Even though the video is not good, the audio is. And there are some really good nuggets that I hope will bring value to you. As usual, if you like this topic of time management and productivity and self-improvement, feel free to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring the bell to get the notification every week. If you're a subscriber already, good points for you. Enjoy my conversation with Mary. Number one um, topic that we're going to talk about tonight is audit where your time goes. Can you walk us through, what do you mean by that? And can you walk us through how we would do that? Yeah, uh, sure. So there is so much value in auditing where your time goes. When people say, I don't have time or, or anything in, the, in that sense, um, most of them don't actually know factually where the, their time goes. And it's just about, as I said earlier, perception. So, but why you should do it? Uh, what, so what does it mean audit where your time goes? I usually recommend it to, uh, to my students and my clients to do it during two weeks. Why two weeks? Because uh, if you do it for one day, uh, it might change. Every day is a little bit different. Uh, if you do it just for one week, it might not be enough. That week might be a little bit different than any other week. And usually, you, if you research a little bit, you see that the sweet spot is two weeks. It's not too long, not too short, and you have good amount of data to know where your actually your time actually goes. Um, so why you should actually do it? Because it brings data. It brings fact to know exactly where your time goes, and you cannot improve your time management, you cannot uh, reduce time spent on this activity, on this activity, if you don't have measurements. You cannot improve what you cannot measure. And that comes back to the background that I have in improvement of the performance is an improvement of performance is the delta between two measurements, one before and one after. And the measurement after showing a better performance than before. So how do we go about when you're working with your clients? I, I understand that we need to audit our time. It's kind of like when people say, you know, write down like what you're eating or, or let's go with, you know, one of those finances things. So they say, write down every penny that you spend so you can get an idea of where you're at. So that's kind of what I'm understanding. Write down where you spend your time for two weeks. I like that it's a two week format. It's not a month. That's overwhelming. Yeah. And you're right. A day isn't enough and probably a week isn't. But are you telling people to like keep a notebook with them and write down all their time? Or what does that look like when you're working with a client? How do you ask them to audit their time? You have different people like some people like digital things. You have time trackers, some apps, or you can go with a notebook. Uh, it's been proven that by writing, writing has an effect on uh, improving, like uh, memorizing better. Um, so some people like paper. I'm this type of person. Or you have something in the in the middle. You can use Excel or some very basic basic tool to know where your time goes. So yeah. Two weeks is a good um, four times a year. You shouldn't do it all the time, but kind of check in with yourself to know uh, to, to, to constantly throughout the year know where your time goes. Um, but um, the thing is, it brings facts and it's unchallengeable. Usually people say, oh, I'm, I spend too much time at work. I spend like oh, 50, 50, 60 hours a week. But when you audit, when you look from a very factual standpoint, you see that you don't spend that much time at work, actually. And that kind of people that go through this exercise, they are usually very amazed by the results because they stop managing by emotions and they stop managing by anecdotes. 
they start managing by data. And when we, when, if you're in a corporate job, you know that data is important. If you're an entrepreneur, you know that data is important. And that applies also to your personal life. Having, as you said, um, even like, um, uh, same as for financials, writing down, it's, you can go back to it anytime and you don't have memory actually blur, blurring your perception of where your time goes. So when I work with my clients, I always do this exercise several times a year and that usually brings a lot of benefits. I love it. Thank you. We're having a couple little technical difficulties. So for our viewers out there, the sound seems to be coming through just fine. But Hugo's face is getting a little blurred there. So, you know, just listen carefully to what he's saying. We're trying to work that out. And it could just be a glitch with technology because technology is not perfect. Right. Um, so we'll just see if that continues to go or or if it fixes itself. And Too bad I was doing funny faces. Yeah. You miss, you miss it all. <laughs> You're just kind of blurry and I'm like, uh oh, so um, I'm kind of watching it on different devices to see what happens because ironically, I'm watching my phone over here and it looks better now. So maybe it'll clear up. So okay. so we're talking about auditing where our time goes and let's review that. So you said we need to do it for a minimum of two weeks to get our an accurate reading of how we're spending our time and i'm just going to put it out there you guys i i always say i'm busy and people are always saying mary i don't know how you do it you're so busy but i have to say like i go down the facebook rabbit hole that's probably my worst rabbit hole and netflix like that's our thing we watch a show every night which isn't too bad but once in a while we go on a movie binge my husband and i and so i'm like oh i don't have time to do that and you're right, it's not that I don't have time, is I'm choosing to spend my time a different way. Yeah, So it's all about, it's all about priorities. Uh, that's why uh, Sherry and I, we don't have TV. So that we don't even, don't even have the temptation. <laughs> I like it, like, um, I used to feel guilty about it, honestly, because I was like, oh, I should be doing more, I should be doing more. But when I was working with a therapist a few years ago, it's like, that's my checkout time. So for me, like watching a show, just kind of like, I don't really have to pay attention, right? Yeah. My brain, because I'm always, always thinking and always on the go. I, I, I am. That's just yeah. who I am. And that's fine. It, that, that's fine. You should, people shouldn't be too hard on themselves. And yeah. in, intentionally wasting time, because you can, see, or you can say Netflix is wasting time, but intentionally wasting time is not actually time wasted. You know that you need that time. Yes. You know that you, I, okay, I need to just to power off for an hour. I need to I'm check out. Look something very stupid that yes. does not require any brain power. And that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Don't be too hard on yourself. Yeah, because we all need to recharge our batteries, however that is. And it could be a day in bed, you know, or a day on the couch watching some movies. You know, during the holiday times, I watch the Hallmark Channel. I love the sappy Hallmark Christmas movies. It puts me in that Christmas spirit. And again, I'm not using brain power because we all know how they end. The girl gets the new guy, right? Yeah. There's always a love story and it always works out. <laughs> so it is important to check out. And so that's my checkout time. But now it's like the beginning of the year and I'm like hitting it hard. Um, but if it can add something yeah. uh, to it, it's a little bit more subtle. It's just, there is a misconception about time when you watch Netflix for an hour. You feel like you lost an hour, but you're not actually losing an hour. Time, um, the effect of in your productivity compounds. If you're doing something that is purely unproductive and that sets you in, uh, in a bad negative mood, it has an effect on the next hour and the next hours. So that's, that's why people are adamant about morning routines because if you set, if you start your day the perfect way, perfect, fa per perfect way for you and not uh, perfect doesn't mean the same thing for everyone, but it sets you in a good position in the right momentum for what's going next. So if you choose to spend an hour doing something that energizes you, or one hour doing something else that doesn't energize you, then it sets you for success or for failure for what's coming next. So one hour doesn't equal one hour. I like it. I like it. And you're right. Like if it's a negative, 
Like if you feel bad and it doesn't fulfill you in a way, then you are losing that hour. But it really fulfills me. It kind of winds me down at night. Because if I were to go, jump into bed and just try to go to sleep, my brain hasn't had time to turn off yet. Yeah, and it, there are best practices and there are things that m work for most people. And it, But it's all about knowing yourself and about what works yeah. for you. Awesome. So, um, so that's very helpful, auditing our time, just like we would our finances, right? You audit your finances and hopefully you're on a budget and you review that. You need to audit your time and review where you're spending your time. If you think yeah. you don't have time, Let's look at where you're actually spending your time and fess up if it's down the Facebook rabbit hole. I'm trying not to do that as much this year. Um, but when you do check out, allow yourself to totally be present in checking out so you can recharge your batteries. Yeah.